Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today we're going to be embarking on a little small project. It's actually a part one of a two part project where we're going to take our Raspberry Pi to convert it into a Bluetooth audio FM transmitter. Now, this video was actually suggested to me by one of my viewers where he said he needed his phone to connect to his Raspberry Pi via Bluetooth so he could have a hands free setup in his car. So, Thank you for that suggestion and I'm actually going to be making this video. Now the reason why I decided to make this into a two part video was if you need one project over the other you could just follow this one guide instead of having to go into my video and break it up and figure out what I did to get both of them working. Now today we're going to be converting our Raspberry Pi to an FM transmitter. So let's get started. For this project, we actually don't need much. If you got a Raspberry Pi 3 with the built-in Bluetooth, you're already set. If not, you're probably gonna need a Bluetooth dongle and you should be set from there. Next, you're just gonna need a little wire to plug it into pin four, and this will act as an antenna. And other than that, you really don't need anything other than the operating system and the SD card that you should already have. So I'm assuming you have Raspbian all set up and everything all updated. Now I'm gonna show you a couple of things that you're gonna need as far as software. Now I made a repository uh, in my GitHub where I'm actually working on a complete project for the Bluetooth FM Pi and it has all the codes and everything. It's not finished, but it will be done soon. And um, the main thing that we do need is this pi to fmc code. Now, originally I got it from this Japanese website where he converted the original project for the Pi 1 and he converted the code to Pi 2. I just basically took this code and plopped it into my uh, repository. I mean, I popped it into my GitHub. So I have everything all in one place. Now let's log into our Pi. Yes, I made the font bigger because I know a lot of people complain about that. And in our Raspberry Pi, what we want to do is make a new directory, make dir, and I'm going to call it pi2fm, cd pi2fm, okay? And from here, we want to grab just the C file. You, if you have Git installed, you could actually clone this whole thing and you would still have it. But what I'm going to be doing is clicking on this, clicking on raw, and this is what you could do. Nano pi to fm.c. Control A, I'm going to copy all this. Since I'm using putty, I could just right click. It'll paste all the text into this new file. Control X, save. And now I could compile it. GCC dash lm library math that I want to use uh, standard compiler equals c99 uh, pi 2 fm output pi 2 fm I forgot dot c now you should have this little green file that popped up and that's the program we're going to be running just to get our sound going. Now I uploaded a file to my uh, Raspberry Pi already, uh, a sound file which is a wave. So what I need to do is sudo pi2fm, right? Then locate the file which is home pi downloads shatter dot wave, and the channel you're going to be plopped in. I have my Raspberry Pi with the pin connected to GPIO 4 and my radio is tuned to 87.7. Now earlier I showed you that command where you can put the frequency in and all you have to do is just hit enter and it'll just start playing the radio station. So guys, thanks for watching my video. Now, my other thoughts about this is, instead of just having to do this as a Bluetooth slash audio thing, you could actually hook this project up to many other projects. Like, if you see my Raspberry Alexa Pi project, the video, I'll leave a link in the description and a card up above. Now, you could actually, instead of having it output to the audio out, you could have it output to FM. You know, it's other stuff like that. I actually have a bigger project going on where I'm uh, converting this guy to a Raspbian car pewter. 
where I could hook this up to my car and have Cody playing and navigation and stuff like that. I've been playing around with that project for a couple of weeks now. So keep an eye out for those videos because this is a good step in that motion. Uh, getting the Bluetooth working, getting the FM transmitter. Now I don't have to run any wires to my radio and um, some other kind of screen that I'm going to be hooking on to this guy so I can get the um, visual effects of Cody and all that stuff or changing playlists. Keep an open mind that you could actually convert this project to do many other things than just Bluetooth audio. So if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you guys got any questions about this, leave it in the comments below. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. That helps me a lot. Also gives you notification on when the next video is going to be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hat till it hurts.